Joining us, Aaron Davison has this night off. This was a day for damage control for the defense in the Stephen Avery murder trial after a relative of the accused killer told the jury yesterday that his uncle as much as confessed to murdering Teresa Halbach. Chris Schuler live now at the Calumet County Courthouse with the latest. Chris. Tom, on Wednesday, Bobby Dassey told jurors his uncle asked him to help get rid of a body, and today the defense did their best to show it was just a sick, twisted joke not an admission of murder. Testimony on Wednesday, the defense did not want to hear. But he asked us if he wanted, he wanted us to help him get rid of the body. 24 hours later, Bobby Dassey back in the witness stand. The defense trying to put that statement into context. What you caught was Steve making a joke about, want to help me get rid of a body or dispose of a body, something like that. Yes. But yesterday, the timeline and context were in serious doubt. Dassey claimed his uncle made this statement in this garage November 3rd in the presence of a friend named Mike. Unsure exactly of what time, though, before or after Holbach was officially reported missing later that day. Today, a deer tag issued on... 11 0405. Brought his memory back, testifying the conversation was held the day before he got it. And that conversation, just a joke, prompted by media reports on Holbach's missing persons report that day. Mike left. Yes. You laughed. Yes. And Steve followed that up by saying something like, um, people go missing all the time and this girl may have left for Mexico. Yes. So was it just a sick joke or an admission of guilt? That's going to be up to the jury to decide when they start their deliberations in about five weeks in this case, Tom. Okay, thanks, Chris. Chris Schuler live at the Calumet County Courthouse this evening in Chilton. Now, Mike Hallbach, Teresa's brother and one of Stephen Avery's attorneys, spoke to the media following court today. CBS 5's Ann Jeanette Levy now joining us live with what they had to say about today's testimony. Ann Jeanette. Well, Tom, Dean Strang said yesterday that he would clear up the context in which this so-called joke was made, and today he did. But one thing is very clear today, and that is that no one here is laughing about Bobby Dassey's testimony. Bobby Dassey said it was just a joke, but Teresa Hallbuck's family was not amused. It certainly wasn't a funny joke, um, uh, and not something I would have said myself, and I don't think most people, most people wouldn't have said it. So, you know, whether it was said or not, you know, I believe it was said because uh, Bobby Dass Dassey testified that it was said. Mike Hallbuck said remembering the reason why his family is here helps him get through testimony like this. She wouldn't want us to uh, be sad the whole time, to feel, you know, like, you know, Salt is being rubbed on our wounds. Avery's attorneys say they're glad they were able to clear up when the joke was made and that it happened after Teresa Hallbuck's disappearance was aired on the news. The joke, poor off color joke, was taken out of context. Jerome Buting says at the time the joke was made, neither Bobby Dassey nor his friend nor Stephen Avery knew Teresa Hallbuck was anything more than a missing person. The comment was initiated by the other young man. He's the one that made a joke of it, and, you know, Stephen just reacted, and it ultimately was not funny, but again, you know, who among us hasn't said something that, in hindsight, we wish we hadn't? And testimony will resume at tomorrow, uh, resumes tomorrow morning. Tom? All right, thank you, Ann Jeanette. Ann Jeanette Levy live in Chilton this evening. Now, Bobby Dassey wasn't the only one to take the stand at the Stephen Avery murder trial today. Members of the Calumet and Manitowoc County Sheriff's Departments testified about the efforts to search the Avery salvage yard in rural Michigan after Teresa Hallbach's SUV was discovered there and how her vehicle was secured after it was found. Now, to know more about the Avery case, you can go to our website. You'll also find courtroom journals from our reporters covering the trial about all of the testimony today, just go to WFRV.com slash Avery.